Ever since the iconic Hubble Space Telescope opened its eyes to the universe in 1990, it has mesmerized the general public and scientists alike with its breathtaking imagery. It not only gives invaluable data to scientists, but also sparks our imagination and provokes our curiosity. Hubble has captured innumerable incredible images in these past 34 years perched in Earth's low Earth orbit, just 540 kilometers above us. It is named after the astronomer Edwin Hubble. Hubble was the first to identify what people mistakenly considered nebulae, till then, as galaxies. He's also known for giving the famous Hubble Law which eventually helped scientists to conclude that the universe is expanding. The Hubble Space Telescope has instruments which capture images in visible, infrared as well as ultraviolet light. The Hubble is the only telescope in space which is designed for astronauts to service it themselves. What's more, Hubble continues to amaze us with its astonishing images, and is expected to continue doing so, well until 2040. And in today's video, we will be revisiting six of Hubble's most iconic images. Hubble over the years has registered to its name numerous awe-inspiring images, and choosing just six among those is a task to which no one can possibly do justice. Though they are not ranked in any order, we've tried to save the best for the last for you. So hang on till the end for the most exquisite image that Hubble has ever captured. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Number 1. Saturn. Let's start closer home in our own solar system with the Lord of the Rings, the ethereal Saturn. Suspended in the vastness of space, with rings adorning it, viewing Saturn even through a modest telescope evokes awe and wonderment of the highest order. Now imagine seeing that very Saturn with one of the best telescopes out there in space. In this exquisite image captured by Hubble on June 20, 2019, Saturn seems to be playing its own melodious tunes, with its rings reminding you of the bygone era's gramophone records. Details in Saturn's atmosphere which would have been possible to see only by a spacecraft visiting Saturn, are captured by Hubble in this image from its perch just 540 kilometers above Earth. You can see the hexagonal storm on Saturn's North Pole. The hexagon is so big that four Earths could fit inside it. UV radiation from the Sun induces photochemical reactions which create smog-like haze, leading to the amber colors Saturn wears in this image. Unseen, hidden beneath this haze lie clouds made of ammonia ice crystals, unlike the water ice ones we know to exist on Earth. But the most beautiful and striking aspect of this picture are the rings, which are visible in excellent detail, so much so that you can see the numerous gaps in the rings as well as the faint inner rings. What are Saturn's rings made of? You will be surprised to know that Saturn's rings are made of ice, from tiny salt-like grains to large boulder-sized pieces of ice, all orbiting around Saturn in a cosmic dance. Number 2. Sombrero Galaxy You may have seen many images of spiral galaxies face-on, but what makes this image stand out is the almost edge-on, just enough tilted view Hubble has captured of this spiral galaxy, making it look like the Mexican hat, Sombrero. You can see the luminous bulging white core of the galaxy, surrounded by thick brown lanes of cosmic dust, making up its spiral arms. The galaxy is a whopping 50,000 light years across. A lot of X-ray emission has been seen from this sombrero's core, suggesting a supermassive black hole lurking at the center. Six images were stitched together to give this vast magnificent image. This image captured in 2003 has found its name in the list of the largest Hubble mosaic scientists ever created. Number 3. Antennae Galaxies. This picture captured in 2005 is extremely unique because Hubble here has captured two galaxies interacting, freezing in time a moment during their interaction. 
Galaxy mergers happen over billions of years, and capturing galaxies at various stages of interaction, such as in this picture, help us better understand the process of galaxy mergers. The two interacting galaxies resemble insect antennae, giving it the moniker antennae galaxies. The two interacting galaxies are NGC 4038 and NGC 4039. This is the nearest pair of colliding galaxies we have. The two orange blobs left and right of the image center are the centers of the two spiral galaxies. They are crisscrossed by brown lanes of cosmic dust. The pink regions indicate the presence of glowing hydrogen gas. This image gives a preview of what the interaction of our own Milky Way and neighboring Andromeda might look like, when Andromeda crashes into our Milky Way billions of years from now. What's more, zoom out, and you'll even be able to make out a heart between the interaction of these two galaxies in this short but full of love month of February. Number 4. Cat's Eye Nebula. Do you see a cat's sharp eye staring back at you in this image? Lord of the Rings fans may see instead the sorcerer Sauron's eye in this picture. Though it was one of the first planetary nebulae ever to be discovered, the Cat's Eye Nebula has perplexed astronomers ever since. Planetary nebulae are formed when stars like the Sun, towards the end of their lives, gently expel their outer layers, creating such amazing and bewildering shapes. In this detailed image, the powerful Hubble is able to distinguish at least 11 concentric rings surrounding the central cat's eye. This bull's-eye pattern suggests the star expelled material in regular intervals, which scientists calculated to be every 1,500 years. Intricate knots of gas can be seen interwoven throughout. The multiple edges of shells at various distances from the center, indicate that the star expelled material in bursts. This gives this nebula the remarkable, layered, onion-like structure unique to it. Studying such planetary nebulae gives information about what would be the fate of our Sun in its last thousand years, when our Sun would be a planetary nebula itself. Number 5. Pillars of Creation. This one is a visible light image of the Eagle Nebula. The Eagle Nebula is an open cluster of stars located in the constellation Serpens. It is called the Eagle Nebula because the dark silhouette in the center resembles an eagle. Several images by Hubble were pieced together to make this composite image. The towering pillars are about five light years long. To put things in perspective, a light year is equal to six trillion miles. A small finger-like feature is visible in the bottom right too. That can be called a mini version of the main pillars. The pillars are made of hydrogen gas and dust. This dust is not the regular dust you encounter in your homes, but rather what astronomers call cosmic dust. You can think of this cosmic dust as what you would get if you were to pulverize or smash asteroids. The largest of these cosmic dust particles measure just 0.1 millimeters. This cosmic dust is found everywhere, in between galaxies, between stars, and also between planets. This soup of hydrogen gas and dust is the ingredient for stars to form, and hence vigorous star formation is happening in these pillars, leading to them getting the fancy name, Pillars of Creation. These Pillars of Creation are just a small part of the vast Eagle Nebula. This one was clicked by Hubble in 2014. Number 6. Hubble Ultra Deep Field 2014. This is one of the most famous images clicked by Hubble. It is one of the most colorful deep space images. This image captures a small region of the sky in the southern hemisphere constellation Fornax. What makes this image useful for astronomers is that this image captures this region of the sky in ultraviolet, a wavelength in which data was not available before Hubble clicked this image. Using infrared, we can peer far back into the universe and get information about older, faraway galaxies. 
Using other space telescopes, scientists gathered information about star formation in nearby galaxies. But the information about the era in which most stars we see today were born, from about 5 billion to 10 billion light years away, was missing. This spectacular image gave scientists the missing piece of the puzzle. The data from ultraviolet light is important as the hottest and youngest stars in the universe shine the brightest in ultraviolet light. So by following ultraviolet light, scientists can find out in which galaxies vigorous star formation is happening, as well as where, in those galaxies, the stars are forming. That's not it. Such ultraviolet light surveys by Hubble have provided invaluable inputs in the construction of the James Webb Space Telescope, which sees the universe in infrared light. That is because only by combining the ultraviolet data and infrared data from Webb can a complete picture about the object seen be obtained. This is the first really deep ultraviolet image to show the power of that combination, said a scientist from the Arizona State University. But the most striking aspect of this picture that will blow your minds away, is that approximately 10,000 galaxies are visible in this image, stretching back in time to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Each point of light you see is an entire galaxy, each containing billions of stars, except for the few foreground stars giving diffraction spikes. Someone had said that the universe contains as many stars as grains of sand on Earth, and this picture might just be giving a tiny glimpse of that. Which one of these stunning images was your favorite? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.